inline inductions. When developing a bowl shape, size, and volume, do you use a set of set calculation or is it completely port architectural dependent? I personally map air speeds for even distribution over set volumes. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Thank you, mate. There are some basic rules that I go off of. First, I have to know what's the engine speed because that, that's going to determine, you know, the, 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 the attack angle of the port itself. Do I have to Short have turn. a bullet straight up and down or do I have to start leaning all this stuff back? And the size itself is really almost uniform across a wide variety of two valve heads. Um, I do it a, a certain way and everybody else does it pretty much the same way, maybe with a little twist here and there. But the bowl itself, I put the maximum bowl width at the apex of the short turn. That's where the bowl itself is the widest because that's the area that needs to slow down the most. Now, the bowl width, if you were just straight down from the guide, would be about 95, 98% up to 100% of the valve diameter. The back of the short side, it's 105 to 106. If you measured across it, it would be 105% of the valve diameter. So it's wider than the valve there, as it should, because that's a real high speed area to manage. And you make it as wide, I make it as wide as I possibly can without instilling in the more gradient and managing the airspeed to turn the air efficiently, or whatever engine speed we're, we're designing the port for. So, so he does a lot of the six cylinder port work, a lot of head porting in Australia. All right, guys, another quick golden nugget from Darren Morgan. Like I always say on Drag Boss Garage, you're always seeing and learning something new. So stay tuned for the next episode.